Welcome back to Proud Masculine. I'm Jim Sherwood here at Danchin Dojo, and today I have a special guest and a close friend who will demonstrate a common jiu-jitsu and judo technique known as Tayatoshi translated into drop throw. Let's get him in. Let's welcome Jose Lopez. Jose is a two-time Cuban national champion in judo and a jiu-jitsu practitioner. So let's get started. Before doing any training, make sure you warm up properly. So tonight, uh, today we're gonna do some ushikamis. So it's basically like two, two steps um, dance. So if you right hand, right hand on the lapel, right here, and left hand, make sure it's like right under his elbow, as you can see right now. So I'm gonna explain it right quick. So first step is gonna be right between his legs. Second step is, is gonna, you're gonna try to pull and go right behind this, the right feet and then make sure that you turn your head in the same direction that you doing the Yushikomi. So one, two, three, let's change around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, All right, let's get into the technique. And today we're gonna to demonstrate two variations, one being sporting, the second being a self-defense application. For the sporting, we're gonna go gi. When we get into self-defense, we'll go no gi. We're gonna be doing Tayatoshi, translated as a drop throw. So if you run hit right-handed, your right hand is gonna be on the lapel, left-handed right behind his elbow, you want the first, the first step that is gonna be a right feet drive in the middle of his, of his both legs. And as I say, as you should come in, you're gonna have to pull. While you're pulling, you want your left leg outside drive right here behind the right leg. And elbow in, make sure you put that elbow in. And then all you're doing is putting an obstacle with, uh, in front of the right of his right leg, okay? So, so we're gonna be doing Tayatoshi, translated as a drop throw. So if you're right-handed, your right hand is gonna be in the lapel. And your left hand is gonna be right behind his elbow, right here. So you want your first leg to be right between his legs right here and pull them at the same time. Your second step is gonna be right behind your right behind your right leg outside of his left leg right here. This is your second step. And your third step you pretty much wanna create or put an obstacle in front of his uh, right leg okay so you're doing first step Pulling, second step, elbow in, all the time. So, second step, elbow in, obstacle. So, pretty much gonna look like this. One, two, three. Let's make that smoother. So, it's gonna be one, two, three. Let me show you how the throws how the throw looks like. So you're gonna be like right here. One, two, three. You know? Or we can go always go to the side. So if you go into the side, you're gonna wait. The your time is gonna be right when he try to like um get his like legs uh together or closer together. So you're looking for Put them his legs like as close as you can together, so you can step in. Oh man, this is how the throw should look. Same 
same technique, Tayotoshi, uh, translated as a drop throw. We're gonna do it without a gi uh, in a self-defense scenario. So there's a couple differences between them. So if you're right-handed, instead of grabbing the lapel, we're gonna try to grab behind his neck right here. Keep it like a 90 degree, like elbow in, right into his chest. You can, you can, oh, left hand can grab right behind his elbow or his wrist. I personally like his wrist. So the footwork is gonna be the same one with the gi. First step is gonna be right between his leg. Second step, right behind that feet. So you want the elbow in, you wanna to look to the other side, you wanna put that obstacle in front of his. Boom. So this is how it should like, it should look like. First step, second step, third step. We wanna make it smoother. Now I'm gonna teach you the actual, uh, the real throw. This is how the throw is gonna look like in a self-defense scenario of the punch, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in today. And thank you, Jose Lopez. Happy to be here, my friend. And thank you, Sensei. A little shout out to Sensei Down and Zanchen Dojo. All the social media and links will be put in the description below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see upcoming videos.